hello welcome back to my channel authentic adventures um where you are noticing that i am sharing a lot of my journey with my illness um because i want to give encouragement to everybody out there who is um, in the earlier stages of being sick and so I just want to say, hey, in this moment, I am 12 years past infection for a uh, first diagnosis. And um, so a lot of people who are caretakers or just now getting to know me and learning about this wonder, like, you know, like I had the comment today, like, you're just really in a good mood, Ashley. And I'm like, glad you can notice that, but I'm faking it always. Um, I'll say if I don't feel any pain or fatigue. So, so basically if I'm seeming a little like excited about something or blah, 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 maybe it's the topic that we are discussing that I actually enjoy. It's not really that I feel good. So don't ever mistake a good mood for feeling good. Um, Ever. Of course, this person is new getting to know me and the illness, but just just, just know that for if you're a caretaker. Um, I know some of you are watching that are caretakers, um, and just know that. Um, you never really can judge about how a person with this illness, um, Epstein-Barr, chronic fatigue, mono, fibromyalgia, ME, whatever you want to call it, you can never judge um, how they're feeling based on how they're acting. You have to ask them the honest question, how are you, and ask and, ex, and and ask for them to be honest back, because I could be in extreme pain and still laughing. It's called, I've had to learn with this disease, live with this disease, and I've had it for 20 or 12 years. God, 20 years. Whew. That day may come. So far, 12 years. So, um, just like, okay, so I take a ton of supplements. Um, you can pull out one of my desk drawers and just see, oh my god, there's a ton of supplements that this girl takes. And people are like, joke, ha ha ha, you got a pharmacy in there. And I'm like, ha ha ha. And if you know me, you know why I have a pharmacy. Low, carry a pharmacy around with me. But the world doesn't see why. So I'm going to tell you, part of the example is having this illness means you're going to contract little bugs and viruses um, that I think most people are able to fight off, but we're not. So I'm taking all the supplements under the sun that increase immunity so that I can fight these things off. And I notice when I get low and wait, you know, oh, I'm going to wait to buy more until I get paid, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll get sick to the point where I need to call out of work. So this past weekend, I did nothing but rest, literally nothing but rest. I went out of the house Sunday night for a couple hours, and then I came back. Okay, Sunday afternoon, I started feeling achy all over, kind of like, oh God, is that a fever ache coming on? You know, like the ache that you would have if you have flu, the true influenza, or a fever, whatever. And I was like, oh, this is not good. Am I getting sick? You know, so I went to bed early. Um, and Monday, all day Monday, I was just kind of in a real chill mood, like, okay, you know, but I didn't feel right. I f still felt like I was fighting something. And I also had this overwhelming feeling of just everything overwhelmed me, any task, any, like, just simply putting my clothes away from the laundry. It was just emotionally overwhelming to even think about and consider doing. So I didn't do it. Whereas perseverance. Ashley is like, push through it, push through it. You got to get it done, push through it. And then some days you just have to realize, you know what? Something isn't right here. I'm not going to do it. And yesterday I also felt my spleen and my liver tingling. It's not really a tingle. It's a slow ache. But I remember when I was first diagnosed, the doctor said, Ashley, you're going to feel pain in your, your, what did he say? I think he might've said spleen. I don't know if it was liver, but I definitely feel it more in the spleen. Um, for the rest of your life, and that just means you need to slow down. And I've noticed when I start feeling it, my body's fighting something, and if I don't slow down, then I'm going to get sick. So yesterday, I made it through work. 
um, my eight hours, and I got home, and I went, got straight in the bed. Did I take a shower? I don't even know if I took, yeah. Did I take a, no, I did not take a shower last night. Did I take a shower last night? See, this is terrible, I don't even remember. Um, which I should, because that determines on if I take a shower tonight or not. But, needless to say, I went to bed early last night, and I feel better today. And, oh, 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 let's not forget what else happened to me yesterday. A crap ton of diarrhea. So, I had a little something, a little bug, because I'm not having diarrhea today, and I didn't have it Sunday, but I had it coinciding with symptoms such as fever, fever-like aches, and then my spleen and liver hurting. So, that's not really something I tell people. I just kind of pretend like I'm well, even though y'all have no idea what, I might be fighting a little virus, you know, and laughing as hard as I can, because I'm faking well. You know, remember people would fake sick so they didn't have to go to school? Yeah, no. I've spent 12 years and will continue to spend my life faking well. Just so you know what reality is like, there are things going on behind the doors you don't see. Which, it's common sense, but I think it's good for me to say this out loud to all of the caretakers out there and just to people who are getting to know me now and don't really know how to support me. Just accept it. This is how I am. If I'm begging for prayers because I'm in pain, then that means I'm not doing good. Otherwise, every day is kind of a crappy day, and I feel like crap. It's just on what level do I feel like crap today? Get what I'm saying? Anyways, um, I guess I'll just get off my high horse now. Um, since I'm feeling better, I'm going to go watch a Loch Ness Monster d uh, documentary. Because that's what made me feel better yesterday. So I'm going to go watch part two and go to sleep. So anyways, um, just shouting out to those who are sick. You're going to get better. Slowly, but surely. You're not alone. So until next time, God bless. And um, stay and be well.